Okay, great. So we're recording now. So before we start, can we have everyone agree that we can share this video publicly with a thumbs up or a verbal yes? Um, it's a yes from Alexis. I can't put my thumb up. Okay, thank you. Alexis. <laughs> Hope everything's okay. Um, yeah, thank you. And Siva? Yeah, yes. Yes, from Siva. Okay, great. Thank you. Great. Great to have everyone here. Great for you all to be here. Um, you know, I have to say I'm already kind of getting in like the Thanksgiving spirit. I feel like, um, you know, it'd be great to start our meeting um, with kind of a twist on acknowledgements, uh, going around and sharing what we're grateful for from um, different people or different aspects of the project or whatever it is about the people or the project that we're grateful for. So I'll just... Um, start by saying, um, you know, I'm very grateful for each of you um, being here, choosing to be a part of this project, putting your energy in week after week in combination with everyone else. It's been like a, a magical miracle as I look back over the months to see how um, we've all just magically come together and created and been on this journey together. And I think it's very, very special and I think it's funny because I think it's it's going to actually take more time for us to really know like how special it is. I hope that in in these you know last few weeks that we have together that we can really feel the specialness in the moment, really be grateful for this literal once in a lifetime opportunity you know that we're all having together to be together to know each other to create together to be a team together you know this team will um you know we'll we'll have opportunities to say hi and see each other and what have you but we won't be you know operating as a team the way we are uh, you know again in our lifetime so um it's been such a special experience for me each one of you have been um you know, very special in your own way and in, in the connection, the energy, the, the, um, the foundation that you've brought to this, uh, this project, this company. So I just want to take a moment to honor and thank one of each one of you and share my gratitude uh, to all of you. I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate who you are as people and I appreciate what we've been able to create together and we'll continue to create together as long as we can. So Thank you all so much. You guys are awesome. Yay to you. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Um, I'm going to have uh, Maria go next. So I'm really glad about this whole opportunity, like how this is really like gives us too many options about learning about many things from each team and like work together, teamwork, like also learn about you. So thank you for this opportunity and thank you guys for everything that you help with and how like helpful you are and amazing. So thank you so much. Yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you for saying that. I think that's such a great point, the way that you guys support each other and help each other. It's really, it's really awesome to watch. Do I choose someone to go next, Maria? Yeah, sure. I choose um, Katie. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I guess what I'm most thankful for from this project is definitely the uh, amazing aura that this team has. You know, everyone's so welcoming and amazing and supportive and um just being able to be a part of a team has been such a great experience. So I'm so happy that we have a great team and we all work well together. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so thankful for everyone on the team. Awesome, that's so great. Thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. I agree, awesome team, yay. All right, and I'll pass it off to Mariana. All right, I'm so thankful for this opportunity. Thankful for meeting everyone. Thankful for working with every single each one of you. And it's been amazing in this project. It's something that is very like amazing in every single way. 
So I'm very thankful for the opportunity, Jared, and for meeting everyone here. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's really great. I really feel that. Thank you so much, Mariana. Really beautiful. And I choose Saba. Hi, everyone. Hey, uh, Saba. Uh, I'm thankful to Jared for giving us the opportunity. Uh, and I thank all the team members for supporting me in every way possible. Uh, and also, uh, I got to learn so many new things from the project. So thank you all. It's really great. Thank you for sharing that, Savat. Wonderful. I would like to pass to Alexis. Hi, everybody. Um, can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, I was saying, um, I would like to, um, well, I'm thankful for the opportunity um, to get a chance to learn in different aspects from the project. So sorry. Um, to learn from different aspects of the project. Um, also getting to know everybody and everybody being supportive and understanding. Um, of everything that you know we go through is like just personal life and students also um so i am grateful for that opportunity and grateful to have the chance to be a part of the um of the team that's really great thank you for saying those things alexis i i feel you appreciate you appreciate like you said all that the team does to support everybody with everything we're doing that's awesome yeah um, and I'll pass it to um, I'll pass it to Danny. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I really wanted to say thank you for everybody and all their progress. And we got through a lot. We got through a lot in the last um, few months, especially uh, ever since I came here. It's been uh, we've been moving and moving, trying to get things done. And I would like to thank everybody one, um, for the help. Everyone has helped me with um, something previously in past assignments. And um, I wanted to say, thank one more time, thank everyone for all the appreciation, all the help, all the feedback for me to, and everybody to grow from it. Awesome. Uh, thank you for sharing that, Johnny. That's really great. I appreciate it. I know everybody does. Really awesome. And um, yeah, just to reiterate that it's you not only have you know my gratitude and everyone else's here gratitude, but all of the people that came before you, all of the people that will come after you, all of the people that will be benefiting from what we're creating, which is just as you guys know on the cusp of really expanding in the world. So it's a super exciting time. It's really amazing, and it's really awesome to share this experience with all of you. So I'm gonna now take a step sideways and let the leaders, the co-leaders uh, share and take over the meeting. And uh, thank you, Katie and Maria and Mariana for your leadership and all that you guys have been doing to, to move us through uh, all that we're doing and get preparing to kind of share everything, which is exciting. So please take it away. Yeah, thank you for that, Jared. Okie dokie, I will go ahead and share our agenda. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we've done that. Okay, so just a quick reminder for the rest of the week um, from uh, basically now until Monday, uh, we do not expect any work from you. Uh, have a good Thanksgiving, um, spend time with your family, good food, all that jazzy stuff. Um, and on top of that, for the time tracker, um, we do not expect any communications during that time, which includes check marks. Um, uh, thank you for your patience over the weekend. I know you actually never talked about that, but yeah, so for, okay, there's me. Uh, for, the, for the weekends, you do not need after Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern, um, so that would be 3 p.m. Mountain for me and Spa. Uh, <laughs> we yeah, do it's, not... actually, it's actually, we change it. It's actually 5 p.m. local for everybody. Oh, okay, 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 sorry. 
my bad. Uh, so oh. 5 p.m. wherever the heck you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, we do not expect green checks up until um, Monday. Uh, so Saturday, Sunday, you don't need to send a check. Uh, but that means that your Monday check mark includes your time for the weekend. So you need to make sure it's accurate and bolded by Monday. Um, does that make sense? Anybody have any questions about the weekend check in this week? Yeah, okay. Yay. Uh, so that, that just means that um, this next Monday, if you do end up doing any work over the break, again, of your own accord, we're not expecting it, then um, next Monday, you should have an accurate time for the rest of the week. Okay, now that's done. So for the interviews, um, just to make sure everybody has finished their interviews, correct? Is there anybody that hasn't done the yes, interview yet? I finished my interview. Great. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, Yay, way to go, everyone. Yes, thank awesome. you. Thank you all for- Yeah, that's great. Just time out of your schedules. <laughs> Uh, so for recordings, if you want to look over them or you want to find them somehow, they should be in your team folders. I know if you interview with me, they should be your name and Katie interview in your team folders, team member folders. So, uh, Maria, Mariana, Mariana, did you put yours in? I'm going to have my interview with Cassidy tonight. So I'm going to put after that. But I, but I did the interview with Maria yesterday and she put in her folder, so. Thank you. Great, great. So each one is in each individual's team uh, folder. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great. I definitely am excited to look it. I'll be looking at them over Thanksgiving. So thank you all for doing all of that. It's really great. Thanks, all right. Um, okay, so last thing from me. Uh, the showcase preparation, we set a due date for today. Uh, so if you are not done, please, 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 by the end of the day, get it done. Uh, if you have any issues with that, please let me know and we will work something out. But uh, yeah, that should hopefully be done. Uh, yeah, so uh, Maria, Mariana, anything to share? Not actually. No, like as well, like always, I would say, <laughs> if you guys have any doubts, please <laughs> let us know. And yeah, that will be all and have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, same for me. I think Katie covered everything. <laughs> Just <laughs> have a great Thanksgiving. And if you guys have any questions, we're here every time. So if Jared wanna say anything now, <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys again. Um, you know, we're going to dive a little bit into some brainstorming around where we're going to go with the teams. I think before that, I just want to tune in to where we're all at with the, um, being prepared for the showcase, because what we're going to do now is I'm going to start to, well, I've already started to create the team pages. So let me show you guys, for those of you that haven't seen the team Leaders got to see this yesterday, and now I'll share it with the rest of you. So with these team pages, what I'm doing is, um, you know, starting to add the, the meetings. That's easy. We've got all of the meetings. But now what else are we going to add? Well, we're going to add the things that you guys have been collecting. And we're also going to be adding those things to your individual pages, your individual profile pages on the website as well. So what I want to cover tonight is I want to go through all of the pieces that um, all the different things that you guys have found and figure out how we should display them on the website, basically. Because what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start to build out those pages. And so just to remind you guys, this is what our team page has looked like up to this point. And there's actually a edited version of this video that I'm going to put up um, pretty quickly. We've got these bullet points for the different teams. 
we have this graphic logic chart and we have some more videos and so this is where your videos will get added and then we've got you know the people can apply if they're interested so now where we're going with the team page is it looks like this now now we have not only our you know video front and center, but this is actually a playlist of our videos. So this is our full team meeting going back week by week. So now anybody can come to the team page and they can you know pull up any past team meeting. You know we have a quick description here. I'm going to edit a bit that gives a little intro and then some more things that I'm going to edit about you guys with some lists of your schools. And again, this is going to be an edited video. And then down here is where we get into the specific team. So again, each one of these is a playlist. So when we click on it, we can again, go back to any recruitment team meeting or any business team meeting. And then we go to the actual team page and then on the team page, and they're not built out yet because this is what we're going to you know, start tonight is the team page again has the, the um, the playlist of that particular team. So in this case, the recruitment team. And then down below is where we're going to have all the work from the recruitment team for the semester, right? And then also here will be like team members, right? And then under team members, it'll be links to with your names. Click on that link, goes to your profile page. That's where all the things that you're collecting will be displayed. This will be your legacy. This is going to be your statue in the statue park of Uniting for Action, you know, that shows what you accomplished uh, with your time during, you know, the Vaccine Considerations Project and Uniting for Action, which is amazing. So this is where I want to go through tonight, uh, at least some of what you guys have pulled together already and look at them document by document and talk about how they should appear on the website, both on your profile page and on the team page. Because again, I'm actually going to do that work over Thanksgiving, where I'm gonna be going into your folders and building out your individual pages and building out the team pages. So, um, so there's actually one other piece to that. Let me pull it up here. Any questions about anything I just shared? Okay, great. So. So like I said, so we're about to go through, you know, some of your collections so you guys can think about who, which of you are interested in sharing what you've collected. Let me share this in the chat and you guys can tell me if there's other things you think we should change or add. But what I want to have you each do is send me your headshot, send me your name as you want it to appear on the website, you know, the name of your school as you want it to appear your major as you want it to appear, um, however that is. You guys tell me if you want to add other things like your pronouns or your social media or your contact information or whatever it is that you want there on the page, especially if you want people to be able to find you. You know, you can certainly at least have your Uniting for Action email address if you don't want to give out a personal email address. So um, I think we should probably at least have that, right? The email address. You guys wanna have the Uniting for Action email address there so people can reach you through the website. So, okay, you guys can add that to the list of what you'll send me. So you'll actually send me these things um, tonight if you can, because I'd like to you know, have everyone's as I'm working on it over the weekend. Um, so headshot name, school, major, Uniting for Action email address, Anything else that you guys think is important? What do you guys think about, yeah, you wanna say something, Katie? Uh, just to confirm for the email, is this your, um, your name at Uniting for Action, right? Not your name at Vaccine Considerations? Correct, correct, yeah. Yeah, we're only using the Uniting for Action email addresses now. Okay, good. So are there other pieces? Like, I think actually I didn't put it on here. I think another piece is like a short bio, like whatever you want to share with people about, you know, what you are interested in, um, you know, why you join the project, 
I know some of that is going to be in your video and that's where your video will be too. Your video will be here. As a matter of fact, while I'm saying it right now, I guess now is a good time to mention it. So with the video testimonial that you guys just did, what I want you to do as well, um, as soon as you're able to, I know you won't be working again until Monday, but as soon as you're able to, I wanna have you guys go through and process your own video where basically you decide what are like the best clips that we could pull out of the video and put into a compilation video or set aside as like a you know separate really solid one minute of you talking about the project or you know whatever it looks like because again then we can clip that out we can put that in a standalone one minute clip and we can put that on your profile page as well right so that way each of you can have you know like one or two or more um, little clips, you know, of you talking about the project, what have you. And this is where, again, if you guys want to create, you know, a separate video, your own video, just, you know, tonight, tomorrow, whenever, just, you know, sit down and just talk into the camera about whatever you want to say about your time with your nighting for action and what you've done and all that. This is your interface to the world right? This is your opportunity to share with the world whatever it is you want to share about your participation with the project. And that's really the whole idea is, you know, we're talking about this showcase event where we're going to be sharing all the information with the leadership council, but really the web page itself is the enduring showcase for you, right? That's the place that will live on forever, so to speak. And, you know, in the future, whenever you're uh, you know, sharing it with a potential employer or, you know, sending it to a friend or whatever it is, you know, here's your link that you can send people to your page, everything that you want right on the page. So does that sound good to everybody? You guys excited about that? Having this, I like to think of it as a statue, right? As a tribute to you guys. Um, so I, I like that visual for myself. Great. Thank you for the thumbs up, Johnny, and the party, Alexis. Great. Uh, Katie, you have a question or comment? Yeah, sorry. Um, do you want us to send that to you by email or WhatsApp? Yeah, I think by email, probably. Um, it'll probably, I'm not sure if WhatsApp does any, um, you know, if we lose any resolution on the images or anything like that, I'm not sure offhand um, if it always does the full version. I kind of feel like it does, but just to be safe, let's do it via email. Um, although you guys know if you're emailing from your phone, your phone sometimes takes a reduced quality version. So be careful if you are doing it from your phone. Um, sometimes it gives you the option like on an iPhone to show, send the large or small or medium. I don't know if you guys have seen that. So it's the largest version is what we're looking for, for the highest quality. Um, okay, good. So I think that covers that. Let me see if there was anything else about that on my list. Yeah, I think again, with the processing, just do that as early as you can, because that's again, something that we'll want to have done before Thursday's showcase so that those videos are on your profile page already. Um, so let's get those done early in the week. You can put that on the list and we'll put it on our time tracker. And I think, you know, that's the other thing is I think we should probably set up our time tracker for next week so that we're, you know, by Monday morning already raring to go. We've got everything all set up. So I think we can get into that tonight, set that up. And um, yeah, for the showcase, what I was going to say as well is that I, the way that I'm seeing it, I think we actually, to simplify it, rather than do like a separate um, presentation, so to speak, like a PowerPoint or something like that, I think what we can do is basically just give like a tour of the website, since we'll have all the pieces like on the pages. So basically be, and this is, we talked about it before, but just to remind you guys, this is where you guys can choose, you know, whatever representative you want of each of the teams to be able to share, um, you know, for uh, how many minutes each, say, you know, like three minutes for each team along with, you know, question and answers. If anybody has questions that you can answer some questions afterwards. And so that's going to be basically, let's see. 
Let me think about the best way to do that. I think we'll talk about it next next week because yeah, I'm trying to think if we should try it. Well, we do want to do it live in order to have the questions and answers, but I'm trying to think of how not to have how to minimize um, you know the time commitment for everybody, um, especially if we're talking about like a different person per team. The Let me think about that some more and we can figure out what's gonna be the best way to manage that. Um, okay, good. Any questions or comments from you guys about that, about the showcase next Thursday? So the to remind you guys, the, the leadership council meeting is going to be from eight to 9.30 PM. So that's why I'm thinking that, you know, we want to have some of you there, but not necessarily like a lot of people. We, you know, unless you guys want to be there, it's up to you. So let me see a rate, a show of hands. Who like is excited about the opportunity to present in front of the leadership council and wants to have that opportunity? It's not like exciting for you guys. <laughs> I can for the research team. You can for the research team. I think maybe if you guys aren't seeing it as an opportunity for yourselves, then maybe we'll just provide, let's, why don't we do it this way? Why don't we make it optional? You can either be there live in person or you can go ahead and do it by a video in advance. And then we can play the video there. How does that sound? Is that a good compromise? So that way, um, okay, great. So that way everybody can have it. Uh, Okay, perfect. So I think then what we'll do is for the ones that are gonna do it by video, let's have those videos that we can watch next, at next Tuesday's meeting. Does that sound good? Okay, perfect. So is everybody in alignment with that? Let me see a thumbs up from everybody so we can make sure we all are in alignment with that. Johnny, you too? About that, um, for me, I don't. I really don't know what my schedule because I'm like constantly studying and reading and finish stuff off. Okay, so but you actually you're just on the research team, and Katie's going to be doing either live or video. So actually, in terms of agreeing, um, we don't need we don't need your time necessarily to have you agree to it. <laughs> we just actually. Oh, Katie, sorry about sorry about okay. that. Then yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about it. Katie agreeing to it is going to be fine. So, okay, perfect. And that's great. And so Maria from the production team, Mariana from the outreach team. So we're good. So, okay, great. That's great. I appreciate you guys saying that. So I think um, let's do this. Let's do a little a bit of the um, brainstorming around where we're going to go with the video or the all of these teams actually. And then as I'm think, as I'm saying that I'm switching it up in my mind, I'm thinking maybe we should do the, I think let's do the presentation of the materials first of your guys showcase materials first, and then we'll do the um, time tracker for next week. And then I think we'll do the, um, do the brainstorming. How does that sound? Sound good? Okay, great. Okay, cool. So um, so who would like to go first in sharing what you've been putting together for your for the showcase? Again. Great. Thank you, Katie. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, so um, here are all of my documents. I guess we can go through my master list. Um, That's great. So now this master list, is this like a standard format that everyone has or is this something that you came up with, Katie? Uh, it's in the protocol, so everyone should have it. Okay, good. Uh, okay, it's in the protocol, so we should have this master list from everybody. Is it called master list for everybody? Is there a standard name for it? 
Uh, yeah, in the protocol, it says to do your name master list. Okay, perfect. Okay, so just to see with like show of thumbs, has everyone done this, has a master list with their name on it? Maria, Sabah, Mariana, okay, great. Alexis, Johnny, you guys have a master list? No from Alexis? And Johnny, you have one? Okay, so Alexis, I guess we'll come, we'll come back to you and check in and see you know, if you need some support with it or where we need to go with it, but that's great that everybody else has it. That's awesome. So go ahead, Katie. Uh, yeah, so um, I guess, do you want me to go through my documents or? Yeah, go ahead first, just like show us all that you have going, you know, down the list. And then, um, you know, we can maybe look at some of them or at least talk about how they should be displayed on the site, whether it's just going to be a link or whether it's going to be, you know, a PDF or what it should, how it should look and work on the website to really show what you've done. Okay. Okay, so first one on the list is actually the, uh, the protocol document. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, and then the other one for the full team is the, uh, the overall scalable uh, action protocol protocol. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, and so research team. Uh, I started from the very beginning, beginning. <laughs> so some of these are pretty dang old. Yeah, uh, so is this in, in chronological order? Kind of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I think some of them may be a little bit out of order, but. So I think this is a good example. So this is, you know, like a, a live document in our Google Drive. How do you guys think that this work ought to be displayed on the website? Um, as far as I know, actually, most of these should already be on the website, uh, at least for this document, through the um, the tagging system that we have. I think this was the document that we used to start tagging, if I remember correctly. Right, so you're saying all of this, all of the information sources are, are in the website system is what you're saying. But yes. what I'm, yeah, but what I'm saying is how do we show like how you and everybody collected all of these on this you know, spreadsheet to start with? How do we show the work? Do we do it as like a screenshot graphic? Like here's where we collected information or send a link to a viewable but non-editable version of this document? Or what do you think is best? Um, I think we could do a non-editable version so people can scroll through and see everything. They're not just limited to the one page, uh, especially if they find something that catches their interest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Maria sent a message to that effect. So, okay, so is everyone in agreement that we'll make non-editable versions of these documents and then those that's what we'll share and then also that way if two people are sharing the same document there's only one link to the non-editable version of this so i think now the question is is how do we and and this is something we've been kind of getting at anyways how how what kind of system do we put in place for creating like an archive of non-editable versions of our editable documents, right? Especially as we're doing it more in real time where we're sharing a document like on a daily basis or something close to daily that's, that's changing on a regular basis, right? Um, that's the more complicated question. The easier question is these create a blog with all the links and Maria. Um, so possibly, I'm just thinking again, 
where, you know, what, what sort of folder structure do we create on our Google Drive for these non-editable versions? Do we have like a whole mirror of our whole drive with all the same folders in, in a non-editable, you know, version of the drive basically, so that all the documents that exist one place, there's, they exist in the same folder structure in the non-editable version. And that way we're not getting like multiple duplicates of the same document. You guys are following me? I think so. So, um, so let me, let me, let's use that one that you were just looking at as an example. Can you go back to that? Yep. Kate? So this document, the booster research information. So if you click on the folder to show us what, what folder it's in, and then you go backwards. So this is in the fall 2021 research, which is in the research team, which is in the teams, which is in the project. So if we create like, um, you know, like non-public version folder right here and then inside non-public version is admin team members and teams folders. And then you go into the teams folders and then you go to research and then you go into the research folder and then you find fall 2021 folder. And you know what I'm saying? That it's the same folder structure so that it's a mirror of the, or a duplicate of the other of our live document folder structure. That's the, that's the way to me that it seems like it would be most organized because if you're starting to take things from different kinds of folders and then putting them all into one place, it seems like it would be tough to keep track of where you've got everything. What do you guys think? You can stop sharing that, Katie. What do you guys think about that? Does that sound like the right solution or do you guys have a different way that you see that it could work? I think that's the best option because it especially shows how our team is organized, um, especially if, again, if we're going to be this framework, we can show like this is how you organize your framework. So I think that would be the best option. Okay, that sounds like a, that sounds like a good idea. Then I think so is everybody in agreement with that or is there anybody else that has any other different ideas. Okay, so okay, great. So I think then let's um, how about this. So as you are like Katie now has this one document, this research document. Now she's gonna create a non-editable version, right? And so she's gonna go and see is like does the folder structure already exist to where this document would be in the non-public folder? And then, you know, if so, is this document already there, right? Did somebody already put it there? So she's gonna try to find if it's already there first. And then if it's not, then she's gonna go back and she's going to create a new copy and put it into that folder, right? Is everybody following that? So first she's going to check to see if somebody's already put it there. And then if nobody's put it there, then she's going to go and create the new non-public non version of this document in the place that it should be. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions about that? I think if you wouldn't mind, Katie, can you make a protocol for that so that we've got it in writing in terms of, you know, first check to see if it's there. And then if it's not there, you know, go to the original version, create a copy, but make it a, a viewable version, not a not an editable version. And that's something that you can set up once you make the copy, right? Then then you can set permissions to make it viewable only. Is that right? I mean, that's where, again, you, you'll do the protocol to tell people the step-by-step -step of what they need to do to make that happen, right? 
you can do that. Okay, great, great. Thank you, Katie, for that. That's awesome. Let's give Katie a hand for doing that for us. Thank you, Katie. That's great. We appreciate that. Okay, great. Okay, so let me let you continue, Katie. That was good that we covered those things. Okay, uh, so the next thing uh, we got into the booster research. Um, so this is when we were going over what we wanted to talk about for the booster research. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, and then I... So now out of curiosity, is there any, um, just trying to think. All right, I'll let you continue, go ahead. I'll keep going. Okay, and then we have the polarization analysis that Hannah and I did. And then um, this is just a, when we were going over the analysis that we wanted to do. So we had all of our different interests and eventually decided on polarization and minorities. So I guess as you're doing this, Katie, is there, can you think of any kind of um, organizational structure or display structure to kind of have this, you know, displayed on your profile page in a certain way that there's a certain flow between these different documents or some kind of way to explain them in any way? Um, like what sort of contextual information should we provide other than just, you know, links? So today in the interview, we basically like cover that, Katie. So I think that it's a really good idea to actually like put that clip, maybe we can do it. Because you were telling me the documents and you were showing me them. You were explaining what you did. So I think that's great. Uh, yeah, okay, I remember what you're talking about now. Uh, so that, uh, would be, yeah, so a little, little video talking about it. And I think visually, uh, I could see uh, splitting them into the different teams that they're based in, um, and then giving like a, a one sentence what this, uh, what this document is, I guess. Okay, so you think like a one sentence, one or two sentence description of each document is a way to provide some context for people? I think so, yeah. Does that sound like the best solution to everybody? Any other ideas? Can you say it one more time? My phone, um, it, was break, it was breaking up for me. I'm Yeah, uh, so for each document, we would give a one to two sentence explanation of the document and its contents. Okay, great. Thanks, Alexis, for the heart. And I saw the thumbs up from Johnny and Mariana. That's great. So, okay, good. So that sounds like a good plan. So then, um, so just to be clear, that's something again that we can have um, well, all done by Tuesday at the latest, really, because again, we want to have that on the website um, by Thursday. So does that work for everybody? That you'll have the one lines in your master list document like this. So it'll basically be like protocol document as the top one, and then hyphen, and then the one or two lines, and then, um, yeah, right there, you want to type it, Katie, perfect. And then, perfect. And then all the way down the list for each of the different documents, I think that's good. Um, 
Okay, good. I think we're making some progress here. So great. You want to continue, Katie? All right. Um, stop here. Okay. And then the next one is this recruitment research uh, document. That's when we were uh, looking to uh, reach out to, I think we had career services, professors, and student groups were the ones we were ma mainly looking for. Mm -hmm. Great. And so, um, so just to clarify with what Maria was saying before, so in your video today, did you go through and talk about like how you found each of these documents? Like, did you, did you recount like following the protocol or what did you cover? Uh, I think we mainly just went through um, the big hits, but we did show this list mm -hmm. um, and I, I picked out of it. Picked a few. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, uh, this is when uh, we were talking about um, uh, how to qualify the um, sources of information that we were going to take from. Mm -hmm. This is a really old document. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Great. Yeah, taking me back into the day. I know. I realize I've been in this project since June. <laughs> wow. Wow. I didn't realize that. That's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations and thank uh, you. That's awesome. It's been so long. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then the last one for the research team uh, was this organization partner list. Uh, we were finding different organizations that we could either partner with or had similar uh, missions to ours. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay. And then uh, for the production team, I found two infographics and one animation that I did that are not in the Google Drive, but I included um, PDF versions of them and uh, the MP4 for the animation into my folder. So that's just a record that they're there. Okay, great. So, so if they're in the folder, can they be links here as well, so they can, so that everything is linked in from this document. Uh, yeah, actually, I think so. Yeah. You know yeah, yeah. I can just put the link in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that later. Perfect. And then the last one is um, the comments that I put into the top five breakthrough feedback uh, awesome. document. Okay. And then I didn't have anything in the business team. So just, uh, just to, I'm thinking about it for what you just showed. Um, we can still, I believe, somebody tell me if you guys know for sure, with what the document you just showed, Katie, can you go back there with your comments in the recruitment team doc? Um, yeah, and this one. The, um, so when we create a non-editable version of this, we can still duplicate it with all of the comments in the non-editable version, right? So people will be able to see the comments and that sort of thing. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, and then for a recruitment team, I had the um, job description first, mm -hmm. first go through. Um, yeah, that was it for recruitment, none for business. Um, and then for outreach, first thing um, was that support video feedback. Um, and then the rest of this is uh, the FDA stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have the presentation. Oh. And then we have the... Um, idea draft page mm -hmm. and then we have the actual proposal draft yep uh, and then we have the script that we used and then we have i did a little when we were still thinking about including experts i have a, a little draft that i made mm -hmm for questions. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have the responsibilities page where we all put what we were gonna do for the FDA presentation. 
That's awesome. And yes, yeah, so that's all I have for the master list. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a great, Katie. There's so much there. It's amazing to see. I think we definitely all should give Katie a hand for all the work that she's done, all the things she's put together for the project over five months now. It's amazing. So wow thank you so much it's so great to see so much content so much there so much contribution so um really really awesome to see that thank you so much for sharing all of that and again thank you for doing all of that that's really really great so yay um okay great is there anybody else that would like to share um what they've collected as well alexis you have a question Oh no, I was raising my hand because you said, did anybody else want to um, share? Oh, you want to share? Okay, perfect. That's great. Thank you for sharing. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I let because I let Maria know um, earlier that I have to leave at seven today. Okay, got it. I do want to give a heads up. I do not have a master list like Katie's. I don't have a master list at all, but um, I'm pretty sure I can make it. I just have to literally just um, do it how she did it. So let me share. Okay, great. Yeah, and you'll be able to do that before Tuesday? I can I can do it tonight because literally I have all of my documents. I just have to put it on like the paper, the form how she has it. So it's just okay. pretty much just dragging it to that. Perfect. And then I think I'm actually <clears throat> I think I'm missing some stuff also, but um okay, so I literally just um put it in a um in a document here under my um my folder. Mm -hmm. Um, but I realized I didn't put it in like order, like as far as like because I was on production team and research team, mm -hmm. so I didn't put it in um order. So I apologize about that. Um, but I do have here um like an infographic that I made for um the production team, like when we first started um mm -hmm. United for Action. Well, not mm -hmm. first started, but when we started um transitioning over from the vaccine considerations project. Mm -hmm. I have an infographic for the vaccine consideration project also, but I can't find where it is. I have to search the Canva to see if I can find it. Okay. But I couldn't find it anywhere, but um, that's for that. And then I also have the minutes that we did from one of the videos um, when we first great. started doing the transcripts on the videos. Yep, great. Um, one second, let me go back. Sorry, it took me all the way back. Okay. Um, and then I have the analysis that me, Renasia, and Sabah did mm -hmm. on the minorities um, with the vaccines. Mm -hmm. um, when we were still vaccine considerations project. Yep. Um, I have the analysis here on the COVID vaccine with the children. Um, yeah, actually, while you're saying this, there's something I'm thinking of as I was processing what you were saying about the mask mm -hmm. list. Um, now that we just decided that we're going to create this, um, you know, new non-public mirrored version, the, mm -hmm. the, the links on our master list actually need to go to those documents, right? Because that's where the master list is going to reside on the website, basically. And then the mm -hmm. links from the master list on the website are going to go to all these um, non editable versions, right? So it's okay, actually, that you haven't linked to all these documents. So you'll just, you'll um, create versions of these documents where they should be in the folder structure in the non public folders. And then that's where you'll link to those documents in the master list. And Katie will have to update her master list to the new non public or um, non editable versions. So, does that okay. make sense, Alexis? And does everybody yeah. else follow that? Okay, any is, let me get it. Let me get a thumbs up from everybody on that one. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Maria, Katie, Mariana, Sabah. Okay, great. Okay, <clears throat> perfect. Okay, yeah, please continue, Alexis. Okay, um, so yeah, I have the analysis here that I've been working on um, as my own dip project. Nice. Um, the analysis on the COVID vaccines for the children. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's been coming along pretty good actually um Renee and I teamed up on it so um it's Great. been good getting like different inputs um mm -hmm. so we just have to I've really been using um for like the expert opinions like heavily the um the processing that we did so that's where I've been getting a lot of resources from um mm -hmm. from the expert opinions so I'm excited to show you guys that um when it's all done um i do have another document where it's like splattered ideas and like spider webs everywhere so i didn't want to put that here even though this is a rough draft type thing yeah, but it sounds, um it sounds cool yeah it's really you show us your rough draft. i'll have to let me see this on my other laptop yeah i think that people would be interested in seeing what it looks like you know coming along like that that's great we're, 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 we're using these teaching moments for the world, right? No mm -hmm. need for anybody else to repeat what we've already done. They can just use what we've got, right? Give me one second. I have to log into my... Yeah, you don't have to do it right now, by the way. I know that. Oh, you're... okay. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying in general. In general. Okay, you... yeah, I'll see. Um, Maybe on Tuesday, I can show you guys um what we have so far. Cool. Okay, so, um, and then we have the FDA responsibilities for the presentation that we did. Mm -hmm. um, put that on there. Yep, so um, that's the perfect example where since Katie showed us that already, we need to make sure that we only create one non-editable non version and not two, you know, so you're both linking to the same one. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I also put, um, I was the minute keeper for the production team my time here. Yeah. So I put like the different um months that I was the minute keeper um because mm -hmm. it highlighted things where um where I um either spoke on something or presented on something. So I just took the whole um yeah, that's perfect document for each month and I put it on here also. Yeah. Um I put start stop times here for um a separate assignment I did, but it ended up being um everybody ended up doing it. It was when you sent um I'm gonna make sure I put the description on this also because it's no description on it. But um it was when you sent us um like a list of a bunch of videos and everybody ended up separating them. Um and then I also have that on here also. Um when I worked with Renasia and Johnny on mm -hmm. um the videos that we did. Mm -hmm um i have that here great on the video clips yeah i also have the video clips that i did with sabah and renasia as well mm -hmm. here i'm sorry my wi-fi is really so slow today okay so here's that one Perfect. um and i have Maybe I'll just stop with documents. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I have the another time when we did our um this was the first transcript we did here actually for the 31st. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I have that one here. Great. I think me and Renasia did this one together. Yep. Um, and then I have another transcript. Actually. Dude, wait, which screen can you guys see? Oh, sorry, I went to another screen. I'll stop clicking on them because it's making it, it's going slow. I know we're at a time constraint. Um, but basically I have another transcript here. Um, and I put the United for Actions link here for all the videos that we process um and the experts that we found because we worked on that for a pretty um long time doing different portions on it. So I just put the link there. But um Okay, great. Yeah, that's all I have. I believe I have more, but like I said, that's all I found that I was, could find in the folders. Um, but, I'm sorry. but um, yeah, that's all I have for now. Okay, I so do you, do you expect to find more? Do you have other places to look, or is this what you think you're going to be able to find? It's, I, it's like, I think, I feel like I have done more. Um, I did get a new laptop in the midst of all of this, so I'm not sure. I'm going to look at my old laptop to see if I can find some stuff, but I looked in the folder because I know we keep everything in our folders, mm -hmm. um, and this is what I can find. Um, so 
this may be it. I don't know. I guess I feel like I did more, but I'll um I'll see. But this may be it. Okay. Did you follow uh, Katie's protocol in terms of going back through the meeting minutes to to try to find things? Yes. So through the meeting minutes um, that I went through, was I supposed to, so instead of like how I did here, um, oh, okay. Instead of how I did here, like just getting the actual production team minutes, should I make um, like a separate part for each month? with like a, like a section of what I did? Cause say if it wasn't like a document, for example, um, we had one meeting in a production team in August, I believe we did, um, it was something collaborative that we did like in the, in the team meeting, but it wasn't like an actual document for it. It was when we first were trying to do, um, what's that? Um, I think it was September actually. It was around, I remember it was around my birthday because I missed that meeting. Um, Renasia did the meeting minutes for that. Um, it was one of the meetings that we were supposed to, the next meeting have when we were trying to do the um, the rainforest thing, I believe, um, climate control, I may be saying it wrong. Mm -hmm. um, we were going to focus on that. Uh, we were supposed to bring the, um, the links to different articles that we found but it was never like um presented in the meeting per se like I have the links but it wasn't like we put it on hold because we got the FDA approval to go ahead and go for the beginning of October so like should I put something like that in there even though it wasn't like something that we um went through with yeah yeah you can put it there because it's some work that you did and again whatever work that you did is now something that somebody else can pick up the ball and run with it so you know okay. No reason for somebody to have to repeat that work if you've already done it. Right. Okay. No problem. I'll find those links. I know that's in my old laptop, so I'll bring that up. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. I think, you know, of course, if there's anything else you can find, that's great. Um, and, you know, if this is it, that's great too. So perfect. Okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you okay. for sharing all of that. Let's also give Alexis a hand for all the work that she's put in during her time with the project. Thank you so much, Alexis. It's really great. It's really great to Thank see you. all of that. And I seen your message, Katie. I'll um I'll put it in the doc once I um charge up my old laptop. Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys. I do have to go though, but um I appreciate it. Okay, great. We'll see you okay, later. Thank great you. to have you. Have a good weekend. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you. Bye-bye. Okay, great. So I think, um, and Katie, you, you said you have to leave by 7.15, is that right? So let's see if we're able to wrap up within the next 10 minutes or so. Um, I think, um, I, I wish we could go through everybody's presentations now, but I think we'll, we'll just have to save those. But I think this is where, you know, what I wanna encourage each one of you is once you get complete, to create your own video walking through everything in your showcase, you know, just like, um, just like Alexis just did. But also we can wait to shoot that until it's on the web page. So you can walk people through the web page and kind of the version of the master list on the web page. But let's all plan that, um, you know, like next week after next Tuesday that that'll be one of the things that we do next week. And, you know, if you can get it done before the showcase, great. If not, you know, we'll get it done after the showcase, but that can definitely be, you know, a video that's on your profile page that kind of, you know, walks the viewer through all of your work that you did over the course of the semester. Sound good? Okay, great, great. Okay, good. So I think then with the time we have left, let's get into this, um, brainstorming a little bit. I, I mentioned, you know, us setting up the time tracker tonight, but I think, you know, I think we can do that offline um, on the chat on Monday, but can we have, can we all commit to doing it early on Monday so that we can all have our hours in and we can all be really clear and we're not waiting until like our meeting on Tuesday to do it, you know, that we're all on top of it early on Monday. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah, I get a thumbs up from everybody on that. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you guys. That's great.
So we'll, we'll be raring to go on Monday. Okay, so let's take a moment. Let's start with research in case Katie has to leave before we're done and we're still going for a few more minutes. Um, we spent some time in the executive team last night kind of hashing out some thoughts that I had about the different teams. And I sent you guys the document earlier today to, so let me pull up that document that I shared in the chat that, um, you know, just kind of questions, you know, like what are we doing with the teams going forward? And I have to tell you, I'm still in the question about it. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure totally. So, um, but that's why I'm asking you guys to give your feedback and give your input. So here's the document. And let's again, let's go to the uh, research team to start with. Okay, so let's start. Katie, you've had a little bit of time to process what we talked about last night. What are your thoughts? What would you like to share? What would you like to talk about with the team right now? Yeah, I think um, uh, so over the this day, uh, <laughs> I think the biggest thing I would like to add to the definition of the team is uh, some form of an analysis, analysis and synthesis, analysis and synthesize, um, because that is some part of what we've done, um, especially with you know, like the polarization and minority analysis. Uh, we did our, our own analysis. Uh, we didn't collect, we analyzed and right. synthesized. Yes. Great, I think that's a very good point. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Um, just to give everybody a quick context, you know, um, there's like three different um, dimensions that I shared last night. I'm still playing with all of this, but one, people, interns that are coming on to the project get to use the project to pursue some particular interests that they have, you know, some, um, specific expertise or specific whatever it is, like when you guys choose research topics, you know, if they want to choose a research topic, they want to reach out to certain experts, that sort of thing, they can use the framework to follow up on something that they are particularly interested in. They can also use the um, work within the solutions of Uniting for Action, like the framework solution, the experts for action solution, the information for action solution. They can work to help us uh, develop the best practices of how everyone's using the framework and the systems um, throughout the country. And then, and then lastly is where they can, um, um, well, actually I just combined two. <laughs> so the first is where they're doing their own project. The second is where they're they're supporting the Uniting for Action solutions and how we're you know doing things as an organization. And then third is where they're being um, uh, best practice experts of the use of the system and the framework within like uh, the realm of research in this case. So does everybody understand what I just described? Any questions about that? In particular, Sabah and Johnny, since that's the the others have heard it last night, so this is new to you guys. You guys clear on what I just shared? Yes, Sabah, Johnny, yes? Okay, great. Okay, good. So, um, so getting back to what I was just sharing, you know, I was envisioning how, you know, researchers, we've been focusing up to this point on some specific things, primarily information articles and research papers, but researchers could also, you know, collect and now let's, as Katie rightly pointed out, not just collect, but also synthesize 
and analyze information uh, issues, information, um, stakeholders in terms of looking up different nonprofits, foundations, corporations, different methodologies, different frameworks, solutions, projects, processes, actions, protocols. So we're adding all these different ways we can have, like Katie's been doing a great job of creating protocols for us. We could have you know, somebody on the research team that that's all they do is protocols and they're writing protocols and they're working with others to develop protocols for the ways they're using the system. So we will have people, you know, in the future, there will be people that that's what they do as their job. They're a protocol specialist and they get hired to write these protocols for these different organizations and that sort of thing, right? So we have these different, like really specialized things that can be happening within the research team and just trying to figure out, you know, how we present all of that in a job posting, how we talk about it, like how we manage it when we have all kinds of, you know, um, different people on the team doing all kinds of different types of functions, you know, how do we manage all of that? So these are all kind of still up in the air questions. So, um, you know, Katie, Maria, Mariana, have you guys had any further thoughts since yesterday? And Sabah and Johnny, I want to get your thoughts as well. Let's have Katie say whatever she'd like to say since she has to leave in a minute. So Katie, how would you like to wrap this up? Yeah, I think um, the three different ways of working is definitely a good way to explain it. Um, so I think it can be confusing to say like inside outside the project, uh, but saying that in a way kind of shows how you can weave in and out as you as you need to really. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I think this, especially with the increased synthesize and analyze really encompasses what we as a research team would do. Okay, great. Great. Who else has thoughts? Sabah, Johnny, you guys are both on the research team. What are your thoughts around this? I think um, the definitions that we have right now currently, that you have currently um, fits. And if there's any more that I could think of possibly, I can add it in. Is the document open to everybody? Yeah, it's open. It's in the chat. Or, or, no, I'm sorry, in our WhatsApp chat. I will okay. see you, and Katie. Yeah. If I think of anything over the weekend, I'll, I'll definitely add to it. OK, great. Yeah, see you, Katie. Let me go ahead and um, add it into our chat here now. Like I said, it's in the main team chat in WhatsApp. And um, here it is here, if you wanna copy it. Okay, great. Um, okay, let's quickly do the same. Uh, Sabah, anything that you wanna share? Samab might be tied up now, so we'll let her be. Um, okay, so let's do the same thing really quickly with um, production and outreach. So let's do production first and have um, Maria share any additional thoughts that you've had, Maria, as well as anybody else that wants to share on the production side. I didn't go into as much depth here with production, I think there's probably some specific things we could add, but your thoughts, Maria, Maria about, you know, the whole idea of all of this? Yeah, so as I mentioned in the executive team um, yesterday meeting, so what I think that is like better for like people to be more efficient is like have each person dedicate to one task mainly, although they can help with other things, but like graphic designer, video production person, um, like creator of infographics and so on. Like make sure that that person is actually like really has a lot of knowledge in that area. So yeah, that that person is going to be working on that really good and is not going to need much help in that. Besides that, I don't think that there's more. I can still like add more. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, thank you for saying that. The way that I see it, I think, you know, it's going to be, you know, as soon as we can, and I think it's going to be relatively soon, we're going to have multiple people in each of those areas, right? So it, it'll be multiple people that are focusing on video production, multiple that are focusing on graphic design, multiple people that are focusing on infographic creation. So then part of the question becomes, you know, are they all, you know, once they start to specialize like that, then we imagine that the video production people have to have their own meeting, right? And the graphic design people have to have their own meeting, right? And that sort of thing. So then what sort of role is there for an overall production team? And is everybody in all of those different roles on the production team? Or, you know, like we talked about last night, is there a representative for each of those groups on the production team? Or what does it look like in your mind? I would say that all of them work on each aspect because they might need help. They might need to work with each other, but I have each person like dedicated to one thing mainly, although they can help with the rest of tasks. Mm -hmm. So, And so uh, as, far, as far as you are saying, if I'm understanding correctly, you think that everybody should be a part of the big production team. Meeting. Yeah. Yeah, because they can help with like new ideas and like working together to do it like quicker or like better, improved. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. I appreciate that input. Um, yeah, I think those are very good and important thoughts. So thank you for sharing that, Maria. Um, are there other thoughts from others of you about what Maria is saying in terms of specializing and um, It's mainly what we're talking about right now, right? Specializing. What do you guys think about that? I think it's gonna be very good to specialize because it's gonna be like people are gonna be more focused. So I think they're gonna like have great results. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So it seems like uh, good. Johnny Sabah, any thoughts about that? Nope. Okay. Oh, from Johnny. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Great. So let's uh, let's wrap up and talk about the um, Sabah. I agree with Mariana. Okay. Great. Thank you, Sabah. Um, okay. Good. So let's let's wrap up with the outreach. So again, Mariana, you had further thoughts since yesterday. What do you think about where we're at with everything? Yeah, I think the, the definitions are very good right now. The only thing that I thought that we could add is like uh, maybe like in the future, we should have like a schedule for when we're going to like share the, the information that we have. Like we should prepare a schedule, you know, like a weekly schedule. Like, oh, we're going to have like to post three, three videos in our social media or in the website per week, something like that. So we can like organize everything and have like an agenda and people like are going to have like their tasks. And I think that's going to be a great, like a great future for a good team. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um... Did I capture it all or is there any, any other notes we should add here? No, that's it. <laughs> you captured it all. Okay, great. Okay, good. I appreciate that. I think that those are good ideas that we should definitely have the schedule and, and how things are getting shared and that sort of thing. So I think that's really great. Um, okay, good. So anything else that anyone would like to share about any of the what we're doing with the job postings or anything about what we're doing right now? No? Okay, great. So I think just to wrap up, and this is where you guys will come up with the um, written assignment, right? Pretty soon that you'll send to the team in the chat. Um, I think the main thing right now, we are 
making sure, you know, that we have all of our showcase things, you know, done, all of our documents collected and the, um, the main uh, document that we were looking at with the list of everything. Now we'll have to build out this non-public version, right? And, and copy everything over there and then link to that. So that's going to be, you know, a bunch of our work right now between now and Tuesday. Um, and then um, we'll each create a video walkthrough of going through all the documents, just like Alexis and Katie did. And um, let's see, did that cover everything? I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, so, and also you guys are going to process your interview videos to be able to, um, designate the clips that we should pull out. When I say process them, you know, you don't have to do the transcript part. You don't have to do the minutes part. It's just like we did before, just, you know, what clips can we pull out of your interview that are the good, you know, one minute here, two minutes there, whatever it is that, you know, is a solid thing to share either in a compilation video or on your profile page on the website. Right. So we'll have the whole video there, but that's going to be maybe, you know, a 15 or a 30 minute video or whatever it is. And then, you know, we'll have these clips that you can share that you can share with friends. We can share on social media, whatever we, you know, however we want to share it or put it on the team page too. And that's what we'll also have to kind of figure out how the team page is going to get built out from all these things. So we'll have to think about that as well. Maybe we'll talk about that on Tuesday. Okay. I think that covers everything. Does that give you guys enough, Maria and Mariana, to work on the, um, okay, great, on the written assignment. And then I will send the video as soon as it's ready um, tonight. So you've got that as well. So, okay, great. Anything else from anybody? Nope. Okay, great. Well, I'm very excited um, that we're going to have a little break here. I know we can all use a little break, right? And uh, so, Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I'm very, very grateful and thankful for each of you. I'm glad that we're getting to have this experience together. Yes, let's definitely celebrate that we're getting to have this experience together and that um, you know we get to cherish all these uh, moments together while we have the chance. So thank you. I'm grateful. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night.